Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss how to run K-means cluster analysis on leaked statements in SPSS. Cluster analysis is a statistical technique used in social science to group individuals, objects, or variables that are similar to each other into clusters. This method helps researchers identify patterns and structures within data, facilitating the understanding of relationships and group dynamics. Cluster analysis is one of the advanced statistical techniques used to identify, classify objects or cases into homogeneous sets that behave similarly or show similar characteristics. In simple language, we can say that the group having similar feature is classified as cluster. The analysis used to classify these clusters is known as cluster analysis. Let's take one case study. A major Indian FMCG company wants to map the profile of its target audience in terms of lifestyle, attitudes, and perceptions. The company managers prepare with the help of their marketing research team a set of 15 statements, which they feel measure many of the variables of interest. These 15 statements are given below. The respondent had to agree or disagree, where one is strongly agree, two is agree, three is neither agree nor disagree, 4 is disagree, 5 is strongly disagree. Remember, 1 is strongly agree and 5 is strongly disagree. The statements are, I prefer to use email rather than write a letter. I feel that the quality products are always priced high. I think twice before I buy anything. Television is a major source of entertainment. A car is a necessity rather than a luxury. I prefer fast food and ready to use products. People are more health conscious today. Entry of foreign companies has increased the efficiency of Indian companies. Women are active participants in purchase decisions. I believe politicians can play a positive role. I enjoy watching movies. If I get a chance, I would like to settle abroad. I always buy the branded products. I frequently go out on weekend. I prefer to pay by credit card rather than in cash. So we have collected the data in SPSS. So you can see here, these are the statements, 15 statements. The demographic variables are gender, occupation, and age. Now we will go and analyze, classify, k-means clustering and transfer all the statements in variables. You will not transfer demographic variable, only the statements which are on Likert scale, transfer it. Iterate, keep as it is, save, cluster membership, continue, options, ANOVA table, continue. Number of classes four, number of clusters four, and click OK. So we got the output. These are the initial cluster centers. We will be doing the interpretation from final cluster centers. Iteration history, final cluster centers. Now copy this. Right click, copy. OK. Again, go back in SPSS and copy the ANOVA table. Right click, copy. Now we will have to increase the decimal in this final cluster centers. These are the mean values. So how we can do? Just select it and increase the decimal from here. So now we have cleaned both the, both the tables. This is a final cluster centers and this is a ANOVA table. In ANOVA table, we will have to focus on the significant value. Let's try to understand this also. Those statements whose p-value is less than 0 0.05, they are the statements which are significant in creating the clusters. The ANOVA table provided helps us to determine if the mean differences between the cluster for each variable are statistically significant or not. The p-value tests the null hypothesis that the means of all clusters are equal. A p-value less than 0.05 indicates that there is a statistically significant difference between the clusters. 
So let's see this. Let's see the first statement. Here the p value is more than 0 0.05. So the mean the mean value of this statement in this four clusters will more will be more or less equal to each other. And therefore, this statement uh, is not so significant in creating the clusters. So we will remove it. Now let's talk about the second statement. You can see more or less the values are nearer to each other. So now what we will do, we will remove all those statements whose p-value is less than 0. Point, uh, sorry, whose p-value is more than 0 0.05. If it is less than, we will retain it. If it is more than, so we will delete that. So 1, 2, 3. This is also having a p-value more than 0 0.05. So we will have to remove it. So finally, we are left out with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 statements. And all of them are having p-value less than 0 0.05. Now just focus here, the first cluster. The mean of this statement is 2.2, 2.4, 3.2. Of the first statement is 2.2, of the second statement is 2.4, third statement is 3.2. This statement is 1.6. Now, what, what was uh, 1 coded as and what was 5 coded as? Let's see. So, 1 was coded as strongly agree and 5 was coded as strongly disagree. This means that the respondents in this cluster, all the respondents in this cluster, they strongly agree. Uh, for this statement are they are nearer to the agreement and if we talk about the cluster number four as uh, the mean is 3.5 they are towards a disagreement for this statement the respondents in this cluster are towards disagreement for this statement in fourth cluster the respondents out are, are towards a disagreement now Let's try to interpret the, the cluster number 1, cluster number 2, cluster number 3, and cluster number 4. Cluster 1. People belonging to this clusters are email users. They feel quality comes at a price. They are not careful spenders and do not think a car is a necessity. They, need, they do not like a television, fast food, or ready-to-use products. They are not sure whether people are more health conscious now. They disagree that the women are active purchase decision makers and they think foreign companies have somewhat increased the efficiency of Indian companies. They feel politicians can play an active role. They do not enjoy watching movies or going out on weekends. They tend to buy branded products and li uh, like to pay cash. They might consider settling abroad. It is thus a cl This cluster is ex exhibiting many traditional values except they have adapted to email use. They are also beginning to loosen their purse strings and probably in transition in some other factors like acceptance of women as decision maker and the advent of credit cards. So cluster 1. Cluster 2. People belonging to this cluster are regular mail writers, bargain hunters or aggressive buyers. They are not too particular about thinking before spending, not great values of TV and they believe that the car is a luxury. They are not too fond of fast food and convenience products. Do not think people are very health conscious. They feel foreign companies have done us good and think former women are active purchasing decision makers. They do not believe in politicians, do not like movies, do not want to settle abroad, do not stress on branded products, do not go out on weekends, but do prefer credit cards for payments. It is a group which likes to use credit, spend more freely, believes in woman power, believes in economics rather than politics and feel quality products can be cheap. Also, they seem to have a patriotic streak as they do not want to settle abroad. So the quality products can be also available at the low price, they think that. Cluster 3. People belonging to this cluster are email users and feel quality is measured by price. They think twice before buying, they are indifferent to TV and a car is a luxury to them. They are not too fond of fast food, agree that people are health conscious, 
do not think foreign companies have made us efficient, do not believe in woman power, detest politicians and enjoy watching movies. They are willing to settle abroad, always buy branded products, go out on weekends and slightly prefer cash to credit cards. This group is not free spending one but health conscious, more brand loyal to branded products but outgoing compared to other groups, even willing to go abroad to settle. Cluster 4. People belonging to this cluster are not too particular about email. Measure quality by price and are, and are free spending. They enjoy watching TV, think a car is necessary, are not fond of fast food, think people are health conscious, do not think foreign companies have made us efficient and believe in woman power. They are somewhat positive about polit politicians, not movie watchers, do not want to settle abroad, indifferent to branding, moderate outgoing and moderately in favor of credit cards rather than cash. This group is optimistic, free spending and a good target for TV advertising, particularly consumer durables and entertainment, but they are not necessarily influenced by brands. They may want the value for money, but if they see value, they may spend a lot. Now, we want to find out the demographic classification of this cluster that in cluster one, the demographics two, three and four. So we are having, we have captured gender and occupation. Now go in the data view. In the last, you can see four clusters, cluster number one, two, three, four. Now we will go in analyze descriptive statistics and cross tabs. Transfer gender into the rows and cluster into the columns. Go in cells, only activate the column percentage, continue. Display clustered bar charts, click OK. So you will get the cross tabulation of cluster and gender. That in first cluster, how many females are there? and how many males are there in second cluster how many females and males i will simply copy this table in the excel so you can see here i'm having this table i've just copied it so in cluster one four females and one male so the percentage is 80 percent uh, that is four divided by five and one divided by five is 20 percentage three three in second cluster Third cluster, three females and two males. In fourth cluster, one female and three males. Now, again, we'll do the cross tabulation for the occupation. So, analyze descriptive statistics, cross tabs, remove gender, and transfer occupation here. Click OK. So now this will give me the composition uh, of cluster 1, 2, 3, 4. So cluster 1, government employees 2, self-employed 1, professionals 2. So again, I have copied this thing, right click here in Excel. This will give me the demographic classification according to the occupation 2, 1, 2, 0. Now I require the average age groups in cluster 1, 2, 3, 4. So what I'll do, I'll go and analyze reports and activate the OLAP cubes. Please activate the OLAP cubes. In summary variable, transfer age. In cluster, uh, in grouping variable, transfer cluster membership. Click OK and you will get the output. Now double click on this. So at present, it displays total. In this, activate cluster number 1. So its mean is 34.8. I'll just write it down. Age 34.8. Again, I'll go back in SPSS. For cluster number 2, the mean age is 44.33. Cluster number 3, 43.6. And cluster number four, the age is 49. 
So you can see the differences difference in the age according to the cluster. Cluster number one, two, three, four. Moreover, you can also arrange your uh, cases according to the clusters. Just click here, right click, sort ascending. So all the cases will be arranged according to the cluster membership. So this was all about how to run k-means cluster analysis for Likert, uh, for Likert statements in SPSS. For more videos on advanced data analysis using SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.